Hey, Mike. Thanks for taking the time to chat. Yeah, thanks for having me, Valentine. It's my pleasure. Um, we've been working together for you know a couple of years, and I really wanted to kind of talk about Annex Power and let our friends and people know you know what we're working on, kind of what your vision is, um, and of course, you know how did you get involved in the business? Why is it so exciting for you? Yeah, so what we do at Annex Power is uh, we generate clean power from natural gas without any combustion. And the way we do that and what Softenway has helped us so much with is with technology called a turbo expander generator, uh, which uses the pressure and the flow of the gas moving through the pipeline to spin a turbine in order to uh, generate that clean power. Uh, I've been super passionate about energy my uh, whole career and the opportunity to get involved with a company like this, that on the one hand, you're generating clean energy, but on the other hand, you're doing so in the oil and gas space I think is really exciting, especially at this time uh, where, you know, North America's most abundant energy resource is natural gas. And so to have the opportunity to make that cleaner is something that I'm really excited about. It's nice to see somebody excited about developing something new, but I mean, conceptually turbo expanders, they're not new. It's not a new technology. So what makes the annex turbo expander stand out? You know, why is it different from what's been tried in the past? Yeah, and, and you know better than anybody that turbo expanders aren't new. I mean, they've been around for 30 years plus in uh, gas processing, cryogenic, even air separation applications. But they haven't been able to gain traction in the natural gas transmission market, despite the enormous opportunity uh, to recapture wasted energy that is out there. And the reason for that is because the natural gas transmission market has an entirely different set of conditions. The pressures and the flows are super volatile versus what's going on in a gas processing plant. So for Annex, it's really important that we have the ability to mirror the fluctuations in gas conditions and have a pretty flexible technology. And that's something that we've engaged with Softenway with since the beginning. And you know that market research that we did has been incorporated uh, by your team, Valentine, into the, the final design of this technology, which you know, we believe is going to be a, a major driver of our, of our uh, business moving forward. Sounds reasonable. I mean, looking, you know, looking at this whole thing, looking at the market and, you know, the whole clean energy and, and waste heat recovery story, um, especially, you know, with the new administration and, and their focus on clean energy. Um, you know, this is fundamentally a combustion free power generation. Yeah. Um, what, what is your kind of your plan for positioning things? What do you think is the value? Uh, and why is combustion free so important in your mind? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's great because our technology can run on anything that's moving through the pipelines, right? It just, they do this with water. There's other companies that do this with water pipelines. Um, and for Annex, it just so happens that our target market is made up of natural gas pipelines. The interesting thing with this new administration is that a lot of these oil and gas, uh, natural gas pipelines, they're pretty concerned about the regulations that uh, could come from the new administration. And what we've seen in the market is that that's caused them to be a lot more proactive about implementing clean energy solutions. And when you look at their options in terms of deploying clean energy solutions on their pipeline, that's really what Annex does. So it's been a really exciting past three or four months with all the renewed interest uh, that we've, we've, we've seen in the market. Hmm. I, I remember seeing something you posted on social media maybe a few, a few weeks ago about the federal investment tax credit you know, alongside wind and solar for these kind of waste to energy provisions. I mean, what, what does this mean for you and what does this mean for your customers? Yeah, so, so it's interesting. I mentioned the new administration has sort of kick-started a lot of interest from the big natural gas operators in our technology, but it was actually that federal investment tax credit was the last piece of legislation signed into law by the Trump administration. And what it did was it qualified Annex as a waste energy recovery technology for the 26%, formerly 30% investment tax credit. And what that does at a high level is it puts us in the same category as uh, wind and solar. 
That's great. And, you know, from our talks, I know that there's a number of companies that are, you know, getting ready to start the pilots and, and there's a lot of momentum right now. Um, I know because you're calling me all the time with, with questions, well, how, how many can we get to this side or to that site? But, you know, what do you think is driving this urgency and, and how do you see this taking the technology to come to the next step? Yeah, so I, I think there's no doubt some tailwinds due to the investment tax credit, due to the new administration, but I think just generally it, it makes business sense, right? This is energy that's being wasted every single day. And if you go to the on-site engineers, they see this energy being wasted every day, right? So the first question we always get is, well, why haven't we done this before? Because intuitively it, it, it's there, the business case is there. So I think that's something that's really exciting for us is the fact that not only does it make good business sense, but now we have some tailwinds uh, from the government as well. Let's talk a little bit about you know, modularity. I think it's a really important for our listeners to see. I know when you were first thinking about well, what size should this machine be? You know, what is the right installation site? What is the right primary and secondary market? You know, we kind of looked around and decided to really um, settle on a, on a modular and scalable system. Sure. And I know that, you know, the Alberta program and a few others are really excited about the fact that you can run a number of these together. Um, how does this fit into your kind of overall strategy? And, and do you think this kind of approach of a system that can be easily scaled and modular, um, do you think this is a, a positive and is this something that's well received by your customers? Yeah, I mean, we talked a little bit before about the history of turbo expanders and that they've been around for 30 years. And actually, if you go to any large industrial technology website, they have this listed on their website. Um, but what you quickly realize is they don't have any deployed in the field. And that is because they're taking turbo expanders from the air separation gas processing field and custom engineering them to fit in the natural gas transmission market. That custom engineering uh, is really, really expensive. Anytime you have custom engineering expenses, it's a project killer. So what we did is we went out on this two plus year customer discovery journey. And we learned that if we were going to have high custom engineering and installation expenses, we were never going to be successful. So that was a driving force behind our modular approach where we have an off the shelf unit that you put on a natural gas pipeline and it minimizes the uh, installation and custom engineering expenses that have killed the chances for this technology to be successful in the past. And it's something that uh, resonates well with, you know, any, any project engineer that's attempted to uh, execute a large scale waste energy recovery project. I'm really, gl I'm really glad to hear that the customers agree. <laughs> I think that means that, you know, we're on the right path and going in the right direction. But yeah. And if you're building technology without using customer insights, uh, we like to say you have a great boat anchor, but you're not gonna be able to monetize it with your customers. Mike, thanks for taking the time to chat. And I hope um, for anybody that's interested in Annex Power and this technology, you know, they'll be able to reach out to you. We're gonna put up your contact information um, after this video. Um, would you mind just sharing a few words, um, you know, why you decided to partner with us back then? I think it was almost two years ago we've been working together. Yeah, I mean, we've, had such a great relationship with soft and way since really our first meeting i can only say that our engineers have been thrilled with the quality of product what i love being in business development for annex is your partnership on this vision we had from day one because it, it wasn't a standard approach to turbo expander technology right we crafted this vision of what does the customer need how is it the technology going to create value for the customers and then how are we gonna most importantly build a business around this technology? And once we, we sort of discussed that vision with you, uh, not only was there excitement and buy-in to help us execute on that vision, but there was a high degree of responsiveness that we haven't seen with other engineering partners uh, that we were vetting at the time. And it was, it was that uh, excitement uh, ability to move quickly and ability to execute on a vision uh, that at least from the business development side, in addition to the, the great engineering work, uh, has made this, in my opinion, such a great partnership. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate the good words from you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.